All is good? Awake? Sleepy? A little bit, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ramal Harti. I'm the Student Services Director at Universities of Canada. And I'm here to talk with you about your generation, Gen Z. Harfin Kilman Gen Z, sah? Min him Harf Kilman Gen Z. Okay. In the workplace. Into what are you looking for in your future job? What are your thoughts about, you know, you're going to uni, you want to do things in life, you have some dreams, aspirations. What, are, what is your aspirations in life? What are you looking for in a job? And it's okay if you don't know, because it's perfectly normal if you don't know. Yes, what's your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, actually, that's the first characteristics of Gen Z. They want to have a life. They don't want to suffer. They want to have a comfortable life. And at the same time, they want their own mental. They understand what is mental health. Like the previous generations, they were not really aware what is mental health. And they were not really sure, you know, what is this. And they discovered it along the way. So they know that having mental health support is very important. Being comfortable in life is very important. Yes, Stability. can be said. Stability. Like financial stability? Exactly, work-life balance. Gen Z, again, they are looking for, you are looking for work-life balance. You don't want to be all swamped into the work and not being able to enjoy your life. You want to make sure that you are earning money and you are doing something that you are passionate about. If you don't feel that you're connected and you have a purpose, it's not really worth it, right? You care about animals, animal rights, you care about diversity, you care about others, you care about the environment. Like if you talk to your parents and like previous generation about like the environment and sustainability and the ocean and all that, some of the previous generations, millennials and, and the previous generations, they wouldn't really understand, connect with you, but you are driving the force. Do you know how much it percentage of in, in the workforce is, is, is in the world now? Had the kid, I guess, just a wild guess, random guess? 70. 70%. 70%. 70%. We're going to die and die. Okay, close enough. Okay, close enough. A little bit higher. So it's actually 25%. You are 25 currently, you are 25%. And in 10 years time, you're going actually to be more than one third of the population. What does that mean? We're dying. Eh? We're <laughs> <laughs> it means you're going to shape the world. It means that you are going to construct the world the way you see it. It means that you are going to enforce what you want because already the Gen Z is in the workforce now, they are working. So they are influencing the companies, how they're going to hire the people, how they're going to retain you. For you, it's not just about the stability, it's about making sure that you are happy, comfortable, having work-life balance, having a cause in life. And to retain you, they're going to have to work on this. They also need to be mobile friendly you have to learn through mobiles and like apps and all that you would prefer to have maybe an online setup of work like maybe work from home a balance between work from home or just uh, and real work from home study at home is not the best study from home though definitely but like if you have the luxury of working from home and achieving your life and purpose that is something that you are going to be uh, aspiring for, so you're going to enforce it on the companies. Type. I want you, since you're mobile tech, tell me our thing and write it down. What are the things that you would love to do in life? Just get a half a minute or a minute. Think about the thing that you want to do in life. Like, I am passionate about students and student development. So I love 
enabling them through activities, through student union, through career services, through wellness, all these kind of things. This is my passion. I like people to grow. I like to see someone come and tell me and like after they graduate, you impacted my life. This is for me a purpose. What is, for now at least, what do you think is your purpose in life? What, what is something that you really want to do? Regardless of the money, like if you have all the money in the world, and you have all the time in the world, what is the thing that you want to do? Okay. <laughs> yes. right now or in the future like it depends what you wanna it's the thing that you really feel like okay I think I might be wanna I want to do this in the future it's something that you love yes have an impact through what through teaching through being a doctor through science through being a all of us love being having an impact it's just how we want to do it some people want to become an academic, they want to teach or be in a lab. So, impact on animals, people. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. What's your name? Malak. Malak. I'm not to say your full name. I'm Rana. I'm not going to say it. Okay, on the society. That's very good. Fair enough. Dig deeper. On the society, like through sustainability in the environment or through the ocean or through uh, children or think think be wild be wild you know be wild for real like uh, I race I race cars so and if you ask me like 20 years ago would by the way, Rana, you're going to be racing cars and you're going to be winning and all that and going to the desert and all that and it's like get out of here, really, no way. So be wild. Yes. I saw plus CC. I saw plus CC. Mukin tatla hat ten You want to be a president? You want to be a president, right? Mesh. Okay. So, a president of a country, or a president of Hisp, or a president of. <laughs> but yes, be wild in your dreams. It's your dream. Okay. So, I want you to think while you're thinking of. Now we're going to set aside what you love. And think of something that the world needs now. Like, does the people, the world need people who are uh, contributing to the environment or they need technology? <coughs> Excellent, yes, technology is the leading industry in the world now. Anything about data, technology, business, sustainability it are the key words now in the world. So the world needs more of this, right? And they need policymakers to be able to implement these kind of things. If we're going to go into a sustainable world, we need to have people, policymakers, like Ahmed al the president, to enable in the whole we can do this, it's right or Because if it's just someone who's randomly dreaming without someone enforcing this and making policies that are effective, it's not going to happen. Do you say the word? Right. <laughs> 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 Just think. Yeah. It's an exercise for you. <laughs> and, and again, think big. By the way, you can be. Um, a singer, you can be artist, exactly. You can be an athlete. You can maybe introduce a sport that is not into the Olympics and bringing it into the Olympics. You know, this is the kind of things, think big.
طيب The next thing you're gonna do is think of something that you love doing. That sorry, uh, think of something that is you're good at. That that's something that you do well. Like because I might be I love I really love people who are into science and all that, but I'm really not good at math. That doesn't work out. So I want you to think of something that you are good at. I, I am good in sports. I am good in teaching. I am good in teaching people sports, like I teach people yoga and all that. So this is something that I really love. Yes, coding. This is you're good at. Excellent. Is this the only thing that you're good at? Or you have many things that you're good at? I want you to write as many things you can think of that you're good at. You are actually good at مش نفسك وتبقوا كويسين فيها. Makes a difference, okay? No, it's like, oh, نفسي أبقى برسم حلو. Yes. Business. You're good. Physics. I love physics too. Interstellar. Oh, oh my God. Economics. Excellent. There are two things that are not related, but they're or in in فيك نلينك ما بينهم. Yes. Yes. Writing, excellent. Maybe you can be a, a script writer, you never know. Or Adam, what are you good at, Adam? Math. 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 تمام حنعديها اوكي وات ايلس ايه اتس اتس يور اون ثينك ذات يو جود ات اكسلنت اي وونت يو ايتش اند افري جايز بيكوز يو ار جين زي يو ار دوينج انديفيديوال ثينكس اتس نوت اباوت بيكومينج ان انجينير ا دكتور ا بزنس اونر ا نو ات از نوت This, it can be a mix of so many things, like all the new ideas and breakthrough ideas are just interdisciplinary. All the applications that we see, Utlub, Talabat, Mishaarif, Swivel, all these kind of things, like it's really a blend of so many things together. Okay? So, the hardest question. The hardest question. What pays well out of these things? Yeah. What pays well in general? Think first. What pays well? Like, um, and then dig deeper. We're gonna go to the next thing, le next level. But I want us to go step by step together. Yes. Anything that you're good at is gonna pay well. Okay, but some jobs are not really high, highly paid. But you have a point. For so hold on to that thought. Yes. يعني التيتشرز حرام هنا يقدروا يقولوا <تصفيق> بيتعبوا قوي it's a very tiring job it's not maybe if they go into another career maybe they would be paid better absolutely absolutely It's, it's what you're looking for in a job. And this is, again, refers back to being comfortable because it's not just about the money. It's about so many things. And this is what Gen Z is looking for. It's not about anymore making money. Yeah, money is, of course, important. But like if it's the only factor, statistics-wise, the number one reason for employees leaving any company, is it money? It's not the money. It's really about if you're being empowered, If you're being creative, if you're being supported, if you are connected to what you're doing. And yes, pay comes at a stage within that, but it is not the most important factor. Some people with the highest paying jobs, they just quit life. Like, have anyone seen the movie The Minimalist? Netflix? It's about two guys who decided that they had everything. They've been working in New York in financial firms, they were financial advisors, and they were making all the money that they have dreamt of. They paid their 
debts, student loans and student debts. وبعدين لقوا نفسهم إن هما they're not being happy and they're just working to get more and more and more. إذا جبت العربية طب أنا عايز أجيب عربية أحسن. جبت موبايل عايز أجيب أحسن موبايل. طب جبت البيت طب عايز أجيب بيت أكبر. طب and you keep you just keep going on and on and on. Then they felt like I'm not happy in life. Like I'm not enjoying. I'm just working like a slave to make sure I am achieving these kind of things and which are endless. Like it. It won't stop. Like if you start, it won't stop. And then they found themselves, they're really miserable. So they decided, okay, I'm gonna quit. And I'm going to live in a minimalist way where I just have what I need and what I really need, not everything I want. Because you can have like, for females, and you're not happy. <laughs> but like, you may have like just how many pairs, like, it depends on what your needs are. And I'm a salon, I hike and I go dancing and I do things, so I need certain things, so that's, I keep the, and I try to adopt this minimalist mindset and it's actually making me happy. I'm decluttering myself from the inside. Time. I want you to find something within these four questions. Il haga common that you can make within these four things. Something that you are good at, something that the world needs, something that you love doing, and the fourth thing is what? Pays eh? well. Pays well, exactly. So, what is the common thing between this? This is called a concept in Japan, it's called Ikijai. Ikijai is living for a purpose, living a life that is full of purpose. So I'm doing something that I really love and the world needs it. And I'm good at, and it pays me good, it pays me. I'm good at, it pays me. Like, I can live and this is a purpose. Hal fi hagat, something that you chose from these things, like the four questions. Fi hagat, fi these four elements? Self-defined. Sorry? For you, this would be great. Fa, good that you have something that you think you believe. It is something that's worth living for. What is the thing that you think you're born to do and is worth living for in life? This is something I want you to hold on to because in life you're going to go through different paths and it's okay, you can go different paths to explore, because this is the time where you can explore. Meshi? The name or the No. We have a class kid. So this is the time where you can explore and take university as an opportunity to explore. When this is a personal story, when I was an undergrad, I was very shy. I couldn't speak before public. I was, I'm still an introvert, but I know how I can connect with people and I utilize this to my own benefit. And I never thought I would be doing the things that I'm doing now in life, which I'm happy for. <laughs> so, it's go explore, use university to explore and to make mistakes, because it's a safe learning environment. Join clubs, make a new club. Be a president of the student union. <laughs> it will help you learn how to lead the people. It will help you learn how to motivate your team. It will help you learn from your own mistakes and grow. It will help you how to fundraise. Lies Yamal Pharmaceutical Research. You need someone to support your research, so you need to know how to fundraise. You will need to know how to resolve conflicts. Let me have conflicts within your team how to resolve these conflicts, how to be mentally able, how to find the balance in your work and your life, all these kind of things. So it's an opportunity for you. I urge you, all of you, to use this opportunity going when you go to uni, study, but don't study alone. Go and explore, do a career workshop and go in for an internship and attend as many events as possible and enroll as many activities as possible until you find your purpose. 
and keep doing this in life over and over. Don't let life get into you and slow you down. And live for your ikijai. All right? Thank you very much. Very happy to see you.